Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here, of course, with my number one son, Michael Anthony Fitness. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. I am here in beautiful Waynesboro, Virginia on Father's Day. And let me give a shout out to all of the fathers that are out there. You know what? Thank you for you guys meeting up with mama, hooking up with her, and having us. Because without you hooking up with mama, we wouldn't be here. So w way to be the Mac. Always, way to be, be the Mac. Day, okay, yeah, Michael's not a father. <laughs> not no, 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 no. He, not, no, he, he, ain't, he ain't got no kids. He ain't got no kids, thank goodness. But we're here actually at front of the Red Brick House. Um, we're going to be doing a little bit different Father's Day here today. Today, we're going to really get started doing a little bit of work on here. We've got our permit uh, set of plans that we're going to be turning in this week to uh, get our building permits. So that way we can start working on the underneath of it. But right now, today, since I'm down, my wife wanted to see her family and stuff. She's social distancing, but being kind of close. Um, I want to spend Father's Day doing something productive. Behind me, if you guys don't know, this is the Red Brick House. This house is exactly 200 years old now. It was completed in 1820 and was originally the first, or excuse me, the third oldest currently masonry school in the United States. When this building was built, there were only 23 states in the Union. The known world only ended a few hundred miles that way. Railroads had been invented. And I look at this because when you think about this, when this house was completed, the War of 1812 was only eight years before. The United States succeeded from England, declared its independence only 45 years before this house was built. And I look at this as a metaphor of our country right now. 2020 has been a mother of a year. It really has been awful. But see, this building, which is almost as old as our country, it's much like our country, where it needs some work. It's got some rotted wood. It's got some termites that need to be expelled. It needs the brick and the mortar pointed up. It needs some new paneling up underneath the porch roof. It needs some new plumbing. And we're going to restore this house bit by bit, piece by piece, and I hope before the end of 2020, that we can make this thing as good, if not better, than it was when it was originally built. And I'm hoping that we can do the same with America as well. So you can see, Michael Anthony is already hard at work and looking at me like, Dad, you're doing too much YouTube. You need to do some work. So I'm gonna go ahead and, um, oh, you can see all the wood we have here. We actually have 60 of these that's gonna take to go up underneath of it on my, my, my truck. But, I've got some shrubs that are growing here on the side of the house. I'm gonna cut all that stuff away because we're gonna have to redo the footing over there on the uh, addition that was put on the house in the early 1900s. And um, that's what we're gonna do starting today. Hope you guys follow along. We're gonna do a live stream with this. And if you wanna be part of this, we actually have a GoFundMe page uh, to help support the channel and stuff. And I'll put the link in the description if you wanna be part of it. So we've already raised $300 right there. $500 worth of lumber, plus we had a 10% off coupon, so $450 right there, thanks to your donations on helping us. All right, let me, let me help him get this wood in before I get sick. Safety glasses. My eye doctor told me that um, from not ever wearing sunglasses, it's one of those things I've always hated doing, that um, my eyes are getting damaged. So I have to now start wearing sunglasses to try and prevent some of the damage that the sun will do, ultraviolet light rays. So here's what we're, we're gonna do. Let me show you guys. Exactly what we're doing. We've got our scaffold set up, our good old Baker scaffold. And what we have, we have our old tongue and groove um, flooring. This is actually really, really thin. Excuse me, well, tongue and groove paneling. 
But what we're going to do is we're actually going to take this off. We're going to put the new stuff on. Um, we're going to try and see if we can save this quarter round, which is literally like an inch wide. Um, more than likely, we won't be able to. But we're basically going to go through. Now, what's interesting is, look at the nails. I don't know if you can see the cut nails that are in here. They are huge. And we'll probably have to use an angle grinder and grind those out because they'll, they'll, they'll just be really, really hard to get out. And you can look at the size of the lumber. Uh, actually, let me get up here and I'll show you guys. Surprise! <coughs> actually got up there that easy. Not bad for an old man. See, these are what are known as cut nails. Um, this porch probably was put on around the 1900s. But you can see the lumber is all rough cut, antique heart pine. Um, this stuff is hard as can be, and hopefully our nails will be able to go into it. But we're going to basically just going to be pulling these on down, and um, we're going to be replacing them. And this is where we'll see if we can save that. Now, the other thing issue we have here, too, is all of this paint is actually lead-based paint. Um, but we're going to be replacing it, and we're going to be cleaning all this off. So when you start doing scraping or sanding of lead-based paint, um, you need to wet it down. You need to wear your dust respirators if you can find them and uh, Make sure that you clean it off your clothes and stuff and that you don't inhale it So we're gonna go ahead and get to work now Are you taking like the private power bar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little bit bigger. sucks when you get old, man. I um, realized <laughs> this morning I ended up putting in my, um, I have a DeWalt um, finished nail gun, which I probably had for about, oh shoot, 15 years or so. It's one of those things that it's it's got good days and bad days, and it's, it's definitely worn out. Uh, the great thing about DeWalt tools is they actually have a DeWalt repair location that's over in Maryland and you can take tools and get repaired and I think I actually had it repaired once over there with them. This one is so old, this has the old batteries that um, you can't even buy the batteries for them anymore. They actually have now an adapter so you can use the 20 volt, 60 volt batteries for it. And sometimes the nails, 
it doesn't hit them exactly right and so you know the nail will jam on it but it, it still runs and this morning I packed it up you know because I was going to bring it down I was going to use it on the ceiling in here and I realized when I got down here that I don't have it so $399 later um, I bought another one and um, at least it's I got another battery um, that I'll have and it shouldn't be an issue of being able to shoot those nails into uh, that old wood. One of the things that happens with old wood is it gets, it, it's not like two by fours you have right now. Two by fours you have right now, sometimes a framing nail gun can shoot the nail right through it because it's a softer wood. The antique hard pine is a slow growth wood and because it's been there for well over 100 years, it's gotten really, really hard. It's got a great sap in it, and that's one of the problems I have when I sand the boards through my thickness sander, is that sap in there is like gum, and it will gum up the sanding belts real quick, so you go through them, so I literally have to use like a 36 grit. If I could get a 20 grit and start using it as a planer, I would, but I haven't seen any 20 grits. So, Michael's over taking off some of the boards now, and um, I'm gonna go back over here with the new nail gun, and hopefully it'll work uh, better than the old one. And um, maybe before we leave, we can get the porch uh, ceiling put back up. And then the next time we come down, we'll start working on removing the paint. I actually meant, that th this is where it sucks. I meant to bring, actually I've got a paint heat gun. And a lot of times it's easier just to heat it up and go off and I wanted to use um, my DeWalt. I've got those 60 volt flex batteries um, and I've got a four bank charger for it. The nice thing about this is, is if you flip the switch on it, it's actually a generator. And so you've got regular outlet power wise um, on there. And I have used my heavy duty demolition hammer for about 25 minutes off of four batteries. I'm talking about a big heavy duty demolition hammer so it's got plenty of power in fact I've even had um, my 60 inch TV I wanted to do a test and so I used a 60 inch TV and ran it off of that for three hours it's not bad um, not bad at all so when you're old you, you just start missing things but it is what it is but I'm almost back over here and we're gonna get some work done and start making this place look a lot better. It almost seems to be a shame to actually cover it up, but um, we've got to cover it up. We can't leave it up in here. There's one of the bees. Um, one of the other things we also have to do is, um, these are still pretty sturdy, but they just have nails into them. So when we get down the ends, we're gonna actually put metal fasteners and we're gonna put a couple of cross ties two by fours just to give it just a little bit extra support. The weight is really held by the pieces on the end. The two in the middle are more of keeping it all flat and square, but it's coming along pretty good. And you can see our tongue in here and the bead board. So it's gonna be a nice look. We'll come back through, we'll clean off strip all this paint we'll paint all this white um, and make it look really really nice this is kind of like the first step while we're waiting on our building permits so we can start working on securing up underneath the house but at least we'll start to begin to make the house really look pretty all right Mike I'm ready for some more of those boards man see he's doing the grunt work here he's pulling all the lumber cutting all of it putting it in I'm doing the easy part nailing and fastening nailing and fastening oh one other thing too I forgot to bring my nail gun. I had a DeWalt one that I've had forever, and I got this new one that's another 20 volt one. And I gotta tell you, it's, it's a little bit lighter than the other one, and boom, it's in there. It's going in that nail that would, like it's nobody's business. And uh, as you can see, we got plenty of to go. So we'll see how far one charge goes on this thing.